Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the three common mistakes to avoid when creating your ingress resources. I will be using an existing app, so make sure to watch my previous video where I explain how to create an ingress with basic authentication. The first common error is getting the 503 service unavailable. So let's quickly troubleshoot this. This is my current configuration. I'm looking to see if I'm using the correct port number for my ingress controller. It seems that I'm using the correct port number. I will now take a look at the ingress controller logs. The controller state that he can't get the content of the secret used in my ingress. So let, let's verify this. So basically the controller is looking for the secret in the wrong namespace. This is the first common error and I will correct that now by creating the secret on the correct namespace. Checking the log again on the controller. Everything seems to be good, so no error this time. I will refresh the browser. Perfect. I'm getting the authentication prompt. Good. So make sure to create whatever necessary for your ingress rule on the correct namespace. The second error can happen when using old ingress syntax with a recent release of Kubernetes. Even on Nginx documentation, you will find old syntax. And if you try to create your ingress rule using it, you will get this kind of error. The new syntax is a little bit different. This is what the correct syntax looks like. And if I use the diff command on the first file that has the old syntax and the one that used the new syntax, you can see the difference at the service spec level. Okay, now the last common error is when you have multiple ingress controllers and you create your ingress rule using the wrong class name. Class name is used to differentiate between multiple controllers. So let's have an example. Here I have a file that specified the wrong controller class name. I will create my rule now and try to browse my application. And you see that now I'm getting the not found error. I will now specify the correct class name and recreate my rule. Let's refresh. Perfect. All is working as expected, as you can see. I hope that you found this short video useful. See you on the next one.